Hi and welcome back to another video of Matic Notes. This video will be on obstetrics history taking. So first, meeting the patient, we have to introduce ourselves, ask for consent whether we can take history from them, and also make sure that the patient is comfortable. First, the patient's details, we have to know the name of the patient and their age, the marital status, whether they are married or not, gravida and parity. Gravida is a total number of pregnancies, regardless of how they ended before this pregnancy, whereas parity is the number of live births at any gestation, or stillbirth after 24 weeks. Other details that we have to know are the last menstrual period, which is the first day of the last menstrual cycle, and the estimated date of delivery, which is usually 9 months plus 7 days after the last menstrual period. We also have to know the race, the religion, and also the address of the patient. So first, if they have any chief complaint, we have to ask for the symptom that has caused them to seek for medical care and ask their men suffering. Some of the chief complaint examples would be labor pain or denoted leaking lycoa, bleeding with pregnancy, for example, antipartum hemorrhage or early pregnancy bleeding, or even preterm contraction. So for history of present illness, according to the chief complaint, we have to ask the duration, how it started, and any associating symptoms and any complications of the conditions, depending on what was the chief complaint. So the main part to us would be the history of present pregnancy in obstetrics history taking. So we have to ask whether it is a plain or plain and wanted pregnancy, and how did they start to notice that they are pregnant? For example, did they experience any pregnancy symptoms such as nausea and vomiting? Or did they notice that they are pregnant after their menstrual period was late? and ask whether they did any urine pregnancy tests, either by themselves or went to clinic. After that, ask when did they go to the clinic for the booking visit, and what examinations and investigations were done during the booking visit, and how are the results, whether they are normal or not. Is there any special investigation apart from routines, and how is the progress of the antenatal care and follow-up? Any problems faced in this pregnancy, such as gestational diabetes mellitus, or hypertension, or anemia, or any thyroid diseases, or asthma. What are the scans that have been performed? Why and is there any problem noted? So next, we'll have to ask about the past obstetric history and list the previous pregnancies and their outcomes in order. So we have to ask whether the, how many previous pregnancies did she have? And how was the outcome of the pregnancy, whether their babies are alive or not, or were there any abortions or miscarriage or anything that occurred? How is the mode of delivery, whether it is caesarean section or spontaneous vaginal delivery? How many weeks of gestation when they were born? Their birth weight? And how about the duration of the labor and is there any complications after delivery? Whereas for past gynecological history, we have to ask about the menstrual history, at what age did they reach menarche? How long is the cycle, menstrual cycle duration every month? Is it regular every month? How is the amount of bleed by asking how many pads they usually use? And is there any pain during menstrual period? Ask about the contraceptive history, any previous infections such as pelvic inflammatory disease and what was the treatment given? When was their last cervical smear? And how was the result? Is it normal? If it is normal, did she have any abnormal result before this? And if yes, what was the treatment given? So these are all the things that we have to ask for past gynecological history. And besides those, we should ask whether she had any history of ectopic pregnancy. If yes, where was it, the site of the ectopic pregnancy, and also what treatment was done? Did she have any previous miscarriage? Did they know or investigate what was the cause and in which trimester was it and what was the treatment done? Any previous gynecological surgery, for example, in cases of pelvic mass, ovarian cysts or fibroids, and any previous infertility where she used in vitro fertilization for pregnancy. Whereas for medical history, these are some of the major and important pre-existing diseases that we should ask which might cause an impact on the current pregnancy. So such as, did she have any pre-existing diabetes mellitus, which could cause macrosomia baby or other complications listed here? 
Did she have any chronic hypertension, renal disease, any neurological disorder like epilepsy, venous thromboembolic disease, or other diseases here? These are some of the significant diseases we should ask. Whereas for surgical history, did she go for any surgeries before? What was the cause of the surgery? When was it? Because surgical history is important, it might cause complications like additional obstruction of the intestine. Psychiatric history asked about the previous psychiatric history, how was the severity, any treatment given, and what were the symptoms she had at that time. If she had pregnancies before, ask whether there is any postpartum blues or depression experience after a previous birth. Moving on to drug history, should ask for all the medications she is taking, including the over-the-counter medications, ask whether she is on any traditional remedies, and also take note on the folate supplementation. Family history, especially the maternal history of first-degree relative, such as the patient's mother or the patient's siblings, pregnant siblings, any history of diabetes mellitus, thromboembolic disease, history of preeclampsia during pregnancy, or any psychotic psychiatric disorders. This is important because these are risk factors that she might have for her pregnancy. Whereas the family history for both parents, were there any family history or any relatives with babies who have congenital abnormality or hemoglobinopathies? And among the family members, did anyone have any tuberculosis or non-allergies where we should take note of? Social history, is she a smoker or alcohol drinker? Is she taking any illicit drugs? The marital status, whether she is a single mother or married with a partner. Her occupation and her partner's occupation to estimate the income status, whether they can cope with this pregnancy. And also, is there any housing problems? How is her home support? Is there anyone who is available to help at home? So that is all for the history taking for obstetrics. Thank you.